What is up, gang? I am excited to jump on. I am live on Facebook and Instagram <clears throat> to talk to you about what my go-to sweet treats are when all that crazy Halloween candy is in the house. If you're catching this on the replay, my name is Amanda Nybird. I'm a registered dietitian specializing in bariatric and weight loss nutrition. And my goal is to provide you with relevant nutritional strategies to help you stay on track or get back on track with your weight loss. And you guys, you wanna see something that's scary? This is scary, okay? This is scary stuff. When you are trying to do good, lose weight, stay on track, and this shows up in your house, it is just a definite going down the tubes kind of day, trust me. And maybe it's not showing up in your house, but I'll tell you where it's showing up. It's probably showing up on your, in your work area, okay? Your coworkers are bringing this stuff in. It's everywhere, it's crazy. It's such a hard time of year to really deal with, you know, those sweet cravings when you have all this candy around. Now here, let me tell you this, guys. My mother-in-law brought this bag of candy over. This is how she says, happy trick-or-treat to my kids. She tells me I have to dull it out, dealt it out, something like that. Um, so basically, I'm gonna roll it up, I'm gonna stick it in the pantry, and this is what I'm gonna hand out to all those trick-or-treaters when they come by. So don't tell her I'm doing that. But, but candy is everywhere this time of year. I mean, we go through Halloween, it's plentiful, it's everywhere, then, we get through Thanksgiving and guess what's back? Holiday candy again through December. And it's so hard to risk the temptation of eating these little sweet treats when they're kind of everywhere. I don't know about you guys, um, but I get really tempted by like sugary stuff, you know? I love the Skittles and the Starburst. And I always have this intention, I'm just gonna have one. But you guys know what happens. You can't just have one. So. I'm gonna give you my go-to sweet treats when I'm craving this kind of stuff um, that's gonna help keep me on track. So right now, I want you to use the share button because this information is gonna be awesome for your friends and family. So share out this video right now so they can see what are some products, some things that they can keep on hand to keep themselves on track during this holiday period because it's so hard. We got one more week to go. Okay, so chocolate is a huge thing. You know, that's kind of the nice thing about these little bitty, you know, um, treats is that, you know, if you can get away with one or two, you're okay, but usually you can't. But a lot of people crave chocolate. Let me tell you this. If you have really bad chocolate cravings, you have a magnesium deficiency. Those two go to hand in hand. So it, it doesn't matter how much chocolate you eat, you crave more than, I would say get a magnesium supplement. Check out my website for my blog on magnesium. But you guys know I love magnesium. Now, so I try to keep on hand really dark chocolate. So you see this one's like intense dark chocolate. Um, not like 50%, 60%. You really wanna find a dark chocolate that's like 70% or higher. The dark, um, got a phone call. The darker the chocolate, the, um, the least amount of sugar in it because cacao powder, which is what we make um, sugar from. Jennifer, you like those? I know they're so good. Um, it has zero sugar, it has zero carbs. Now, it doesn't taste very good. You know, adding the sugar is what takes it, makes it taste so good. Um, but the darker the, sh the, the darker the chocolate, the least amount of carbs. So these little bitty squares, and I love these because they've got the almonds and they've got salt. There's nothing better than, um, you know, salt, chocolate, and peanuts across the board. So one of these little suckers is only five net carbs. So you can have like two, three, and they're not, they're not super small. I mean, they're a good little chunk of chocolate. So I like to keep these on hand um, in case I need something and I savor it. I And that's the thing about dark chocolate is it kind of melts a little bit slower. So it stays with you a little bit longer. So these are really good. If my kids are running around with these, cause they found them in the pantry, then I'm gonna grab one of these, so I love that. My other go-to across the board are these dusted almonds. These are awesome. Again, it's gonna give you that nice little 
cacao, that nice little chocolate dusting. That's what I love, because these aren't like coated with like milk chocolate. They're more of like a dusting. Um, and these are only six net carbs for 24 nuts. So this is gonna go a long way. Like you get 24 delicious bites. You get that kind of sweet, salty. You get that chocolate um, taste without all the carbs and sugar. So these are really good. Um, stock up on the uh, the almond roasted, the dusted um, almonds. I love those. Okay, so my next go-to um, sweet treat that I know, cinnamon, those are like my favorite. Um, they're really good. You gotta try the dusted almonds. Um, is frozen fruit. Guys, this stuff will take you across the board a long way, okay? And I'm gonna show you my two favorite frozen fruit options. So the first one is frozen grapes, all right? You know how when you like buy a big thing of grapes and um, you, you kind of look at them and you're like, those grapes, they've got one more day left. Um, that's when you want to freeze them, okay? So you know you're going to throw them away because you're not going to get through them. So go ahead and throw them in the freezer. They're good for like six to 12 months. Um, and they're really yummy. It's like a little frozen glass of wine without the alcohol. <laughs> Maybe. If you think really hard, it tastes like a wine slushy. I promise. Um, but they're really good. So freeze them. I put them in like little bitty baggies. So this is one cup. One cup of frozen grapes is going to give you just about 10 to 15 carbohydrates. So not much at all. Now, when you pull them out, you want to kind of like let them warm up just a smidge. Um, and, and, and I just give them just a little bit, not so like ice cold hard. Um, and then they're really good. Pour unsweet Kool-Aid oh, Kool over the grapes and freeze them. Oh, I've heard people do that. Like you sprinkle the, um, Jennifer is saying you sprinkle like the powder, the unsweet, um, um, Kool-Aid powder over them. And they're really good. Mmm, they're so good. So good. Okay. Frozen grapes. My other, um, if you crave chocolate, Julie, it's a magnesium deficiency. Get that. Okay, my other favorite frozen fruit, you guys, this is so good. Frozen grapefruit. Look at this. It looks like an icy, it's like a slushy. It's so good. You can do this with mandarin oranges, orange slices, grapefruit slices. So what I do is I, um, We'll buy like the big containers of the pre-sectioned grapefruit. They're already sectioned out. Um, Dole, I'm pretty sure is the one that makes them. And I just take this one, I've kind of already crushed up, but I just take basically like a half a cup, which is about 12 carbohydrates. I put a little bit of liquid in there and then I stick these in my freezer. So I have tons of these little containers of this frozen fruit. And look, it's like a slushy. It's like a frozen fruit slushy. So good, all natural, no nothing. I mean, it is just frozen grapefruit. Again, you could do mandarin oranges in the same way. I've even gotten those little containers. Now, you gotta open them up, pour them in a container because it, they kind of expand and they may explode if you stick just the containers in there. But um, this is such a yummy, good, sweet drink, okay? And it's gonna take me a long time to eat this. So again, when you pull this out of the freezer, it's like a block, super frozen. Let it sit for about five minutes and thaw out a little bit. And then you'll get this nice little slushy consistency. So good. So easy. Make those ahead. Um, those are good. Okay. And then my last go-to, guys, I mean, sometimes you, you, you just need a Reese cup. You just need a you know, you need a Twix bar, you need some peanut M&Ms, you need something. And I will say that if you can get away with like one or two of these, then go for it, okay? The problem is, is that most of us, when we, this bag, I cannot even with like, it's so much. When we have all of that stuff, it's not one or two. It's more like 20 to 30. And then we're like, what did I do? I'm 100 carbs deep in this horrible, you know, candy mix. So my last go-to, which guys, I keep these on hand because you know what? Sometimes there's an SOS. There is a time of the month when there's an SOS 
and these dusted covered almonds ain't gonna cut it. So, I love these Atkins Indulgence line. Again, a little bit of a chemical shit storm, okay? Not the most quality product out there, but they taste just like Reese Cups, you guys. They're really good. So, um, you know, they're individually packaged. They have two net carbs. They taste really good. They really give me that kind of like chocolate fix that maybe something else is not gonna get. And I and I feel like I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm getting what I need and I'm kind of staying on track with my macros, you know, so only two carbs. So I love the, the Atkins Indulgence lines. Lots of sugar alcohols um, in them, which are not horrible, but for some people they can cause some GI distress. You definitely don't wanna eat a whole bag of sugar-free candy. You will regret that. So, you know, I really feel like during this holiday time, we gotta get through the, the Halloween season. We gotta rely on, you know, some of these healthier treats, you gotta keep them on hand. Because here's the deal. If you don't have this stuff, Peggy knows what I'm talking about. Peggy knows what I'm talking about. If you don't have this stuff on hand, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna eat this stuff. It, it's inevitable. So being prepared and having these, you know, kind of healthy options on hand, is just gonna make you so much more successful. And guys, progress, not perfection. Can I just ask one thing of all of you this Halloween? Okay, so when you have trick-or-treaters come to your door, will you do me a favor? Will you be that person that puts one piece in their bag, please, okay? And I just say this as a mom because like my kids come home with the biggest bag of candy and I just feel like it's so unnecessary and I don't even know what to do like without them like hating me for life to, to take it away. I, trust me, I've tried to buy it from them. I've tried to take them to Disney for it. They don't care. I mean, that bag of candy is ever. So I feel like if we unite and we as a community give our kids <laughs> one piece of candy, it's gonna be good for all of us, okay? So I challenge you. I wanna know if you're gonna do the one piece. I'm gonna, I'll be like, oh, hi, happy Halloween. I'm gonna give one piece of candy. Actually, I might give them all because I want it out of my house, so I don't know. But I hope you guys found this to be helpful and beneficial. You guys, progress, not perfection. This is the most challenging time of year. And the biggest suggestion that I can give you is plan, prep, think ahead. Um, you know, just, just be, um, cognizant or whatever, I don't even know what that word is. Just be thoughtful, intentional about where you're gonna struggle and how you're gonna manage those temptations and struggles, okay? If you guys have questions about, um, you know, sweet treats, um, staying on track on the holiday, ask those in the questions below. Definitely share this video out because I feel like all your friends and family are gonna be having the same issues this holiday season. So I want them to see this. If you need more specific help, uh, more dialed in daily support and education. I'm your girl, okay? I've got another session starting on November the 12th and I would love to work with you. This is the best time to dial in on your health and wellness and I wanna help you. All right, guys, you have an amazing Wednesday um, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Bye, talk to you later. Now I gotta figure out how to end all these videos.